Hi, my name is Paul Reisman. I'm the Acting Superintendent 2 at the Salton Sea State Recreation Area. Welcome to the Salton Sea. The Salton Sea is located about 60 miles south of Palm Springs along the Highway 111 corridor and the Highway 86 corridor in Riverside and Imperial County. The sea is approximately 35 miles long by about 15 miles wide. There are three inlets to the Salton Sea. We have the Alamo River to the south as well as the New River and then to the north is the Whitewater River. And there are some intermittent drainages throughout the shoreline that run during the flood seasons in the spring and in the winter. Most of the water that enters in here, well all of the water in here stays. The only way that it leaves the Salton Sea is by way of evaporation, which leaves behind quite a bit of salt. Currently the Salton Sea is approximately 50% saltier than the Pacific Ocean. Since the 1930s, Congress has designated this landmass out here as an agricultural sump, which means that all the water coming off of the agricultural fields come into this body of water. How did the sea form? Isn't this a man-made lake? Well, yes and no. No in that the basin has been here for a very long time, geologically speaking. This basin even predates the arrival of the San Andreas Fault. However, the current Salton Sea that we have today was basically created by an accident of man. Some gentlemen who were very, very good at building canals through rock, they had been very successful in Australia in bringing water to dry regions, were hired by local pioneers and the U.S. government, as a matter of fact, to come down and bring water in from the Colorado River all the way into the Imperial Valley. And what they did was they cut a drainage canal from the Colorado River directly through some very, very soft soils into the Imperial Valley and connected that up with smaller canals. So this drainage gets blocked up and people are screaming because we have massive farms down here. They're getting ready to plant. Some of them are getting ready to harvest. The farmers, the pioneers need water. Everything is drying up. So these gentlemen needed to make their money and keep their livelihood. They snuck down into Mexico without telling anybody and they cut another canal lower down on the Colorado River and they brought it in again to soft soils and they connected up with their old canal drainage and water began to flow. Well, the Colorado River didn't appreciate that and it had another major flood. And what it did in that second flood was it connected the first canal with the second canal and everything in between came downstream. And this behind me is the downstream. And so for approximately 16 months, the Colorado River stopped flowing all the way to the Gulf of California and basically put all its might into coming into this basin behind me, the Salton Sink, creating the modern Salton Sea. So we do have evidence throughout the areas of the Salton Sea going close to the ancient shoreline which people refer to as the bathtub ring. We have evidence of peoples being here going back several thousand years. And so there are many features that you can visit while here at the Salton Sea, both in and around the sea itself and off into the Coachella Valley. Coming forward in time, we have pioneers who came here to find an empty basin which gives us thought that the Salton Sea has been a body of water many times before. The State Recreation Area was created in the early 1950s and it had been known long before then but the fisheries and the recreational activities really take off in about 1956. We have some introduced fish species from the Gulf of California, particularly orangemouth corvina, sargo, and croaker. And orangemouth corvina at the time would get to 25, 30 pounds. People would love those. We at one time had more people visiting the Salton Sea than visited Yosemite Valley in the summer season. And we were the second largest state park in the system on its creation in the 1950s. This was the place to be if you could get to it. And as word got out, people came from all over the place to visit the Salton Sea. The real major factor in the Salton Sea's rise, and unfortunately a lot to do with the deterioration of communities around the Salton Sea, happened in the middle of the 70s. In 1976, Hurricane Kathleen actually made landfall right below El Centro and brought a tremendous amount of water into this valley, and with it a lot of wind and a lot of destruction. Following that, the very next year was Hurricane Doreen, 
and she continued to add water to pools that still hadn't dried up. And so we're now seeing with a, a change in farming and agriculture and a change in the water allotments that the water is slowly starting to recede back down into the basin. One of the things that people always want to know about the sea is what's the deal with all the fish on the shoreline? There used to be many more types of fish in the sea, but as the salt content has risen, as water has evaporated away, we are pretty much left with one fish, and this is tilapia Mozambique. And you may again in the camera be able to see some of those fish on the shoreline. There are over 400 million of them at this time that inhabit this body of water. And uh, again, it's, there's no outlet to the sea, so they have to circulate within the water that's here. The Salton Sea is one of the last places for massive migrations of birds to effectively take a rest while they're flying from north to south or in reverse from south to north and dispersing into the western United States. So as far as the Pacific Flyway, the Salton Sea is an invaluable water body for their survival. So again, we have a very, very safe water area for fishing, for boating, for swimming, wonderful recreation opportunities. Here at the Salton Sea State Recreation Area, people can come to enjoy camping, bird watching, canoeing, kayaking, and all kinds of other activities. The Sea and Desert Interpretive Association works in conjunction with the State Park to provide educational and interpretive programs, as well as operating our visitor center. On behalf of the California State Park System, I'd like to thank you for visiting the Salton Sea, and I hope to see you soon. Today I'm fishing the north end of the Salton Sea. I'll be fishing with a night crawler. Two hooks through it, very primitive setup. A couple of people fishing here from Los Angeles, catching tilapia. That's about all there is in the Salton Sea now. I used to have corvina and uh, many other fish about 10 years ago. Everything died off except for the tilapia. Fish diversity in the sea has seen several dramatic shifts. The Salton Sea as we know it is a modern feature. The sea came into existence and the Colorado River was accidentally diverted into the valley in 1905. If we go back another 500 years, there existed a much larger freshwater lake in the valley called Lake Coahuila, with high populations of bony tail, striped mullet, and razorback suckers which supplied local peoples with food. Even further into the historical record, when sea levels were higher and before silt created a division, the valley was part of the Gulf of California. This is a male Mozambique tilapia. Bluish coloration can be seen in the mouth, and a red edging is obvious on the dorsal and caudal fins. This species has outsurvived other fishes because of its high tolerance, up to 120 parts per thousand for salinity. In alien species, the Mozambique were introduced for aquaculture and probably descended from as few as five fish. This fish is most abundant near the seashore, but is not common in the canals which flow into the Salton Sea. Anyway, yeah, it's red on either end of the uh, caudal fin there. Why is it flat here? Alright, let's toss them back. <laughs> 